I offer a few final words directly to the parents. The thought has, that has been in our minds and hearts each day since the loss of your sons and daughters has been, oh, the parents. At Syracuse University, we have sustained a grievous blow. But you, who are the parents, have been struck by a bolt almost lethal. May you be sustained in part by your knowledge that your young people were so vital and vibrant that they would trust you to carry on, as each of you in your own way encouraged them to be fine and strong. The outpouring of concern, the desire to be of help, and the campus-wide sharing of grief has been total and consoling. The words were, is there anything at all that I can do? Would it help or would it cause more pain if I wrote to the families? I enclose a poem. I will mention them in my prayers. I will live a better life in the days that I have before me. The coming together as a community is a goal that we at the university, in uncertain ways, always strive for. When tragedy came, we were shown that the love and concern were there all the time to be depended upon when the need was great. Your sons and daughters were special to us. They were fine students. They were a part of campus life. They reached out to their fellow students, faculty, staff, and they seized every opportunity to learn, to know, to share. We are a large university, and it might be thought that it would be difficult to have a large circle of friends. Your sons and daughters reached and affected others for the better throughout the length and breadth of the campus. They reminded us of how great an effect good people can have. The number of fellow students who have come forward to tell the myriad ways that their lives have been made better is a beautiful tribute to those who are no longer with us. There will be a very special memorial to the 35 students to be called a place of remembrance. It will be located on the Lesplanade, which extends from the prime gateway to the university, which is at the intersection of University Avenue and University Place, up to the Hall of Languages, the first building on the campus. Names will be carved on a stone wall, and there will be an appropriate place for meditation. There will be scholarships established, 35 of them, one in the name of each of those lost to us. There will be memorials of other kinds in our striving to be an ever more humane institution and in our working in the time left to us to make our contribution toward a better world. In these ways and others, we dare to hope that those we now mourn will live through us. Your sons and daughters will be remembered at Syracuse University so long as any of us shall live and so long as the university shall stand. And now, <clears throat> may the sun be warm and kind to you. Your darkest night, some star shine through. Your dullest morn, a radiance brew. And when dusk comes, God's hand to you. Let us now go in peace, and let us say together, Amen. <clears throat>